Howdy y'all, welcome to Lex Lives. I'm Lekander, and this is Lex Plays 7 Days to Die. Ooh, I was confused as to where I was at there for a second. So, I've decided to uh, do a little more building inside my little fortress here. Hmm, he sounds angry. And, uh, so my plan... Here. I have some metal siding. So my plan is, uh, slap some metal siding with that too, is to maybe build a taller tower than what my little squat building is here. So this is going to be the base of it. And uh, maybe, maybe get it up there a little ways before I branch out and uh, try to make something that looks halfway decent. Uh, although that's going to take some time mining. And uh, I need to turn down my volume here a little bit. These guys are still really loud. But uh, today... Uh, yeah, I figured this will have a stairway wrapping up through the middle of it. Uh, today, though... I am going to... Whoa, I need to get some iron first. Play with some water. Uh, I need some buckets, though. So let's see... Actually, I actually have iron bars on me. Can I make a bucket? I don't remember how to make a bucket. Mm, wood farm fence. I don't need wood farm fence. I need a bucket. What am I missing for a bucket? Um, let's see. Whoops. Yep, that's right. Throw the plywood all over the ground. No, I think I need some, um, I had some buckets, but I think I need some, uh, um, some scrap metal might be helpful, but I need, ah, <laughs> my brain... What is it I'm looking for? I need some of that uh, forge metal. Oh, look, they busted a hole over there. That's not good. Uh, oh, that's a clay bowl. That's not what I'm after. Apparently, I do not have a bucket. I need a piece of stone, though, uh, to block off the zombies. Come on, piece of stone. I used up all my stone uh, building that little wall back there, so... Come on, piece of stone. There we go. But uh, I do, I want to go out and uh, see a little bit how maybe water works outside. Um, I know in the one episode I accidentally dumped a bucket of water and got myself killed. Stay outside. And, but I really don't remember how to make a bucket. I think it's forging metal I need. It would be better if all this stuff was in alphabetical order or... Um, forging metal... I either didn't make enough or that's not what I needed. Alright, well, how about iron ingots? How many of those can I get? Quite a bit. What now? There we go, bucket. It is iron. Or I thought it was. It's just a lot more than I was expecting. I want to make a couple of buckets so that we can see how this uh, works. I don't know if it works like uh, Minecraft, which is, you know, the one game I play like this that's similar. Um, I don't know if you can make infinite pools or... I know that you dump it off the roof while you're standing on it and zombies will swim up that uh, to get to you. Look at that group of zombies over there just waiting for me. Good thing that's not the way I'm going. Uh, although I do have some TNT on me. Now, we'll save that for later. Uh, now, I am low on actual water. So I do need to uh, look for some water while we're out here. I probably shouldn't run because I'm really getting low here. Probably going to start taking damage. Oh, man. And, uh, I desperately need to find some water. 
takes too long to load that shotgun. Alright. You guys happen to be carrying water. I will take that, uh... I don't need a stick. And then later I'll need a stick, because I didn't take that one. I don't know why I keep taking all the cloth, either, because I don't really seem to use it for anything, but, uh... I sure have a lot of it. <clears throat> now we're... I guess we can swing through town here. Well, we'll hit the river before we hit uh, town. So, Oop, that's one of my TNT holes. <laughs> Not gonna lie, blowing blowing up those zombies is a lot of fun with the TNT. But I want to go out and um, uh, maybe dig some trenches and check out uh, whether or not the water can maybe not necessarily I know it can't block the zombies and since they can swim against the current uh, it's not quite as helpful as well the other game I play Minecraft because zombies can't really fight against the current in Minecraft uh, and uh, but I'd like to I don't know can you drown a zombie uh, I haven't don't think I've been deep enough in the water to, uh... I am so out of supplies here. I should have brought some potatoes to eat. Don't know what I was thinking. All I got is this can of Spam. It's gonna make me thirsty. Now I'm gonna start taking damage from being thirsty. Uh, oh, I'm almost to the cornfield, though. We can eat up some uh. corn. Yes, I know. I'm out of water. I don't know if there's any water left at the farm, though. Uh, yeah, the buildings are this way. Yep, yep, sure enough. Am I gonna die from being hungry, or does it just take you down to almost dead? I don't know, I've never let myself really get that deep, so... Shotgun time! Why do you guys got a hole dug in the cornfield here? Ooh, that was a good supply of. Don't touch me. Oh, come on. Oh, don't touch me, I said. That's a good way to die. No. No. Stupid zombies. Hopefully we can get some water here. And then we'll duck over into the river and see what we can do with buckets of water. <laughs> yep. I know. I guess we can eat some corn while we're walking. At least fill back up our hunger. Uh, well, a glass jar will be helpful. Uh, do I have any... Oh, I got some dirt on me. I wonder if the dirt will fall. Um, dirt seems to sometimes be affected by gravity. Uh, I haven't quite figured out what the deal is. I think you have to dig completely underneath of it and it can't be supported. Whoops. <laughs> it can't be supported on its side. Okay, can one of these things allow me to... Oh, I'm pushing the wrong button. The other downside of playing more than one game like this is that I confuse the controls. One empty glass jar. That's that's what we're gonna go with that I've left in this place. What about down here? What is that? Barbed wire. Uh, I don't even know what that's supposed to be. I am starting to take health damage. Which isn't a good thing. Candy mints, which I never did figure out what they're good for. They don't help me. Uh, at least I think that says candy. Uh, oh, I checked all that. Cover box. No, not helpful. Cover box, not helpful. Jump across this. Uh, maybe in the garage. 
I'm going to have to start digging up some sand here pretty quick and uh, making my own glass jars at this rate. Oh, yep, give me that. Need that for TNT. Now that I know you can get uh, paper out of books and use it to mine up the TNT. All right, let, enough of this. Let's just get over to the river. I can get some water with the um, glass jars that I've already picked up. And uh, and then we will dig some trenches and see what happens. I headed the right way? Yeah, kind of. Can of cat food. Ooh, there's a chainsaw. I think I already have a chainsaw, though. I wish corn gave you better food. I know the cornbread works good, but uh, I uh, just the raw corn for some reason. You think it would give me a little bit of moisture, a very tiny amount of moisture, uh, eating raw corn. Um, and uh, I haven't tried. Oh, oh yeah, the bridge. This bridge, I don't know if this is the one. One of these I ran across and it all caved in on top of my head. Thought it was going to kill me. Can I just drink out of the river? Nope. You'd think you'd be able to just drink out of the river. Now, if I take the glass jars, though... Um, see, now they are bottled water. Why doesn't the bottled water give me back empty glass jars? Oh, well, at least I'll stop taking damage. And we'll get a bucket of water. And a bucket of water. And let's get back up on land to see how this stuff works. Uh, yeah, all the rivers I've come across so far are like that. None of them are deep enough to drown in or anything, so... Uh... I'm not exactly sure how this stuff works. Let's start with a hole in the ground. And we will dump in our bucket of water. Totally missed. Uh, it appears to be similar to Minecraft heads for the nearest hole. Uh, this has got to be my source block. No, is it going away? It doesn't go away, so that's probably got to change at some point. Hmm, and it flowed to match. I need a more open area to play with this. Uh, get out here. Oh, let me go over here, a little more open. So I pour this block out. One. It's probably about seven in every direction. Um, and then it just ends. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't really have different heights, does it? That's pretty funny. And every block seems to be an infinite source. I can't get rid of this water now. I've just made a giant puddle, uh, which is crazy. Um, now I need. If I go over to the river, can I pour water on top of water? Nope, I don't think that worked. What if, well, if I dump it here, it's just going to flow over to here. Too high is enough to drown me. Um, it doesn't, uh, there aren't air bubbles or anything to let me know. Um, so I don't know if you can drown. Maybe I should just dig down here. Let's see. Let's see if we can drown. I don't think I can dig through it. Wow, you can't dig through water? So if I put two layers of water around my base... <laughs> You can't dig through it. Can I 
I can't punch through it, I'd assume. I can't dig through it. Yeah, I can dig while standing in it. Crazy. Uh, well, let's do this then. Uh, three. Four. I think it's as far down as I can dig. I'm going to dump the bucket of water here. It's going to flow down the hole I just made. I will let myself down in the hole. I am underwater. I cannot dig my way out around the outside. Uh, I can swim up the water pretty easily. Uh, but I am not taking any damage. So I'm assuming there's going to be some changes to water physics because this is just too kooky. And seriously, I can't do any damage to the... Oh, no, I did that one. You got to get in real close, maybe. Yeah. Well, why can't I dig down then? Well, see, I can't hit that block either. Yeah, you can only hit the block immediately in front of you. So I can't hit the one below me on an angle. Weird. Water, it does strange things. Hmm. I don't know if that's... Like I said, they've got to do some changes to the water because there's no way... No way they're going to leave it like this. Um, I should head the other way so I can go get some water out of the houses. I uh, I used it all up. I was... I don't know what I was thinking, but if you drink water... Sploosh. It will... Uh, it will fill back up your stamina, and so I was using it too fill up my stamina as I was running. Oh, it does appear to stop damage. Uh, we should test that out. Can I go to the top of this thing and jump off into water? No damage. Of course, I don't know if you take a lot of falling damage, I guess. I let's see. Go up a couple blocks here. Oh yeah. Yes, yeah, so the water blocks falling damage too, just like on uh, just like on Minecraft. Um, now I'll show you. If I dump this water out over here, the zombies aren't affected by it any more than I am. And they will just come right into the water. Of course, it's not flowing. There's no flow to the water. Whoa, lady, whoa. Apparently, it's uh, too shadowed under the trees there for him. Uh-oh. Run! Yeah, what are you going to do now, people? what I thought. You're not smart enough to come up after me. Well, they probably are. Maybe. I don't know why they're jumping around like that. I think the jumping zombies are pretty funny. Um, this doesn't help me. Oh. I don't understand why the bridges fall apart either. Uh, I... <laughs> It's kind of funny to me that this stuff is supposed to be steel and it just collapses as you run across it. It looks pretty cool uh, until the pieces start falling and landing on your head. But, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so water. It's really important in this game. You always got to be drinking. Always, always. Uh, it probably doesn't help that I run most of the places. And, uh, ooh, this bridge looks pretty, pretty well together still. I've never crossed this bridge, apparently. 
All right, here we go. This is this is what happens when you cross the bridge. So you see the bridge is all nice here, and if we start across the bridge. Nope, it didn't completely go. There are a couple of pieces here in the middle. F oh, <gasps> fell out. Um, this one seems to be staying together a little better. I don't don't know what the physics are though that make it fall apart. I don't know if it's just set up that it's supposed to be rusting apart or something, or <laughs> there I go again. Uh. Usually, though, it just collapses like it's dominoes. So I'm not sure why this one... Oh, yeah, that's exactly what I want. Start across the bridge, I'm trying to get to fall down and run out of stamina. Yeah, it's not... It's not going to do it. I tried. I wanted you guys to see the bridge fall down. We're not going to get that lucky. Well, I am going to go into this town here, and probably it's just about time to start finding a hidey hole. Um, so, but I do need some, I do need some water, or some, oh, it's a cop. Oh, I was like, man, he just took a full blast of shotgun. Cops will do that. They're the tough zombies. Uh, this looks like the road that I already vandalized. Let's uh, head back a road here. Um, that was the or the other day when I was uh, used the dynamite on the roof. <laughs> All right, let's start searching this place. Water, please. Water. Water by the gallons. That wasn't very hard, was it? Uh, Water is pretty easy to come by. Uh, although I am getting to the point where I have looted a lot of stuff. Um, oh, I hate that that works like that. What is this that I've got one of? Go away, whatever you are. Uh, I hate that you can't loot into the empty spot on your hotbar. Uh, even though it is empty. Yeah, give me some water. I need some water. Corn, I guess. Ooh, books, books. Uh, some of the stacking is off on the game too, and I can't wait till they fix that because bottled water is bottled water, and so I don't know why it doesn't just all stack up together. Uh, I find it weird too that I can make like 243. 243 sticks and they all go in a pile but if I got a pile of 12 sticks and a pile of 10 sticks they won't go together uh, it doesn't make any sense I also don't know why I take those painkillers because I never use them uh, painkillers uh, will fill up your life uh, they're the one thing that seems to stack no matter what. Uh, the jars seem to be doing a good job too, so. Um, I know the next update they're supposed to add like climbing zombies and block sliming zombies and that'll be pretty crazy. Um, I'll make the game a little bit harder. But uh, let's get this place lit up in here because this is going to be my my hidey hole for the night. Because we have reached darkness when the zombies...
go crazy. Uh, they they swarm and like that right there. Why why won't those nine plywood go on that stack of 72 plywood? Uh, like if I reach the limit of how many plywood can go in a stack, or you're just pretending that those aren't the same kind of plywood, I really I really don't know. If I was braver, I'd show you what the uh, dump of water down the side of the ripple do to you. But I'm not. Actually, I probably could get away with it. Well, I don't want to, though. I don't want zombies bashing in here, so. Alright, um, we looked at water, which was my plan for the day, and I found water, which was my other plan. Although I wasn't actually going to do that with you guys, but I didn't finish blabbing, so. Uh, I think I'm going to call it here as the zombie horde runs at me from all directions. Uh, click like if you like, subscribe to be sure and catch the next one, and I will talk to you later.